everyone! Today I'm going to show you how we make these cute little paper roses. They're really easy to make, so let me show you how. So I've got some toilet paper. Um, this is actually three-ply, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take five squares, or in this case rectangles. So it's three, four, five. And what you want to do is, for me, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start on the right side. And the trick is to fold over a corner, then fold that again. So you've got this. And then you put your thumb on the end, the right thumb, twist it over, put your left thumb on top, and twist your right thumb back like so then you move your right thumb to the new place fold it over left thumb on top twist the right one back and then you get this nice rounded edge again right so right thumb on top so here's the twist the right thumb goes here Fold it over, put your left thumb on top, and twist the right one back. And then again you get another petal. So I'm going to show you a couple more times. Twists, turn. And I've seen this being done on TikTok and YouTube, but they never tell you, you need to keep your thumb on the piece of paper, twist your thumb with it, and then twist it back. Because they all do it like really, really quickly, and then you... I, I had to rewind several videos a lot of times to get to see why they got this continuous, continuing row without losing the bottom part because that was what my problem was every time I came to like the second page of the toilet paper I would be down on the bottom because I was not keeping my thumb on the on the top so now we come to the end and then what I do is I'm gonna fold it you can either roll it to the inside so let's do one to the inside you just roll it. Don't want it to be too tight. But make sure your leaves don't twist back. See, now it's twisted back, so I'm turning it over again. I'm just going to take this part off. It's So now you've got the rose and a blob of paper and the bottom. And what I use, uh, you can use either a piece of uh, yarn or anything else. I've got these little rubber bands and I just put it on like so. So there you go. That's our little rose. Let's do one more together. So, take your piece of paper. Fold over the corner and fold it again. And don't forget to hold your thumb on the paper while twisting it. And try not to push too hard um, because it will rip. I know that in the States you've got like really, really sturdy paper. Uh, but this is really, really thin, so I can go really fast, but I like to go a little bit slower and make sure that I don't rip my paper. I'm not worrying about the underside, I'm just worrying about the top. And it doesn't need to be perfect.
and let's twist this one to the outside. So you can roll it both ways if you you just get a different effect. Again, make sure your bottom doesn't twist back on itself. And we're just going to put a rubber band on. And there you have it. Another rose. So twist it to the inside, twist it to the outside. So you get a little bit more volume going to the outside. So now we're going to add some color like these. And what I'm going to be using is some blush. I think this works the best because it's really, really nice and finely milled. It doesn't need to be expensive, just this is a really cheap one. I've got a little makeup brush. And then for my second color, I'll be using a pink pastel. And I'm just going to scrape some off. You can use a knife. I'm using the edge of my scissor. And you just go over it. So what I like to do is I like to put the one color in on the inside. And I just go tap, 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 tap. As you can see, the blush really sticks to the paper. So take the pastel and just dab, dab, dab. This one, as you can see, doesn't want to stick as well. So you need to do it a little longer. So if you have like some cheap brush, uh, blush in different colors, use that because it will stick to the paper a lot easier. And there you go. So we went from the white to the colored. And to fit it in my little bowl, I just cut off the end. If you want, you can put, if you want to make a bouquet, you can just put a skewer right in the center and you get it on a stick like so. Or a piece of wire will work fine as well. But I had this little bowl laying around and I thought it would be fun to put them in here. And there you go. And now it's a nice display piece. If you're gonna try, I would love to see what you make. You can always send me a message on Instagram. Just look for Unbounded Arts and Crafts, the same as my YouTube channel. Have fun doing it. It will make a lovely Valentine's gift. And for now, Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!